Hello everybody, this is Etho, and welcome back to the Minecraft server. I'm still sick here, but uh, feel, feeling a little better today again, which is good. Uh, I wanted to show you this little glitch that's been driving me crazy the last few days working on the nether hub here. Let's see if we can get it to happen. I'm just going to sit still for a second. It's been plaguing me, because I keep thinking it's a person. And... Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> Where is it? Where's the little bugger? No. No. I know you're here. Ah, he must have despawned. Okay, look at this. It's happening again. This is what I deal with all day. <laughs> So annoying. So, what I think it is, it's a magma cube somewhere. I don't think it's in front of me because I, I've tried like swinging at it for a long time. I've never been able to kill it. So I think uh, my position is somehow messed up, or or something in the server where it thinks this the magma cube can get me. Uh, even though I'm not there, I think he is somewhere else in the in the nether here, loaded. And the portal glitch, I think, is responsible for it. Because when you go through the portal, in the, the latest... Well, we're in 1.6.3. But it's still glitched out, like, where you go through a portal on multiplayer. Um, players will end up, like, visually looking like they're in the air or underground or something. And their positions get messed up, and I think that is why this happens. But I could be wrong. <laughs> I always think it's like death games related, though, because all of a sudden I get hit from nowhere, and I think somebody came through the portal, and I can't see them because of the glitch, and they're hitting me. Which is what happened when uh, Doc got me here, too. I thought it was the same glitch getting me. Oh, dude, he's still out on me. Okay, we're going. <laughs> I'm about to die from it. I'm almost tempted to die from it just to see what it is. Ah, uh, is that stupid? Zisto brought a gift, by the way. Uh, he brought two stacks of quartz, two stacks of coal, a whole bunch of cobble. Very helpful. I think I might just die, actually. I kind of want to see what this is. It's a zombie. See, that was very unexpected. It's a zombie. I thought it was a magma cube. Oh, he's going to take my gear, maybe. That will be interesting. <laughs> Intentional. And they're going to be like, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> sure. Go. Yeah, ghost zombie. How did you know? Maybe generic has something to do with this. Or maybe he died from this. Are you responsible? <clears throat> it doesn't seem like a normal zombie though, because if it was a normal zombie, you would get hit over and over and over instead of that long pause between each hit it's not invisible there's no particles well it is invisible but it's not like okay he didn't pick up my stuff so that tells me he's not actually here he's somewhere else or else he can't pick up stuff who knows? <laughs> He's up here. Be below the cat killer. <laughs> um, so that problem uh, seems to be maybe leg related. That's the guy. Is he going to do it? Keep hearing this meowing as we walk by. 
Yep. Yep, furs. I don't know. <gasps> oh my goodness! <laughs> he did that with such intensity. Such hatred. I'm telling PETA. <laughs> oh. It was the right thing to do. Well done. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, the server was lagging really bad, and everyone was having block lag at that moment where I was getting hit. So maybe it's related to that somehow. I don't know. Good reset the server, and it seemed fine after that. Uh, I'll take you guys around the, the nether hub, though. I want to show you uh, what's been going on, what state we're at with it. So... I've been collecting lots of quartz <laughs> lately, lots and lots of quartz. We were able to finish all these like entrances, these these things. Um, I think I got about 20 stacks altogether, and plus what we had before. And I think B Dubs has got some quartz too. He went for a few trips, and we pretty much have enough of that to finish this almost. Oh no 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 no. Don't do that. So exactly where was he seeing me is the question. They still see through blocks sometimes, it seems, the gas. Um, so B00, he has to put two more domes on, these things. And uh, we need a bunch of quartz for the middle and a bunch of clay for the middle. And then we're pretty much done. Um, Anderzel has moved in here. Oh yeah, another big thing I need to do is I wanted to set up like a little track system for everybody. Uh, it's supposed to go here in the middle. Um, that people can use if they want or not. It's up to them. And I just went and like cut down a ton of trees and stuff for this, for the saplings. Because we got to fill these clay pots with something. Uh, just so they don't look out of place. The reason we have these here actually is just to prevent gas from spawning. We need something because they can spawn. They need a 5 by 5 by 4 high area to spawn. They spawn on the ground. Has to be on full blocks. Doesn't matter what the light level is. So, for example, if we were to pick this spot here, uh, the center of them spawning would be here. So they could go two blocks out diagonally from there. And... It would basically check a 5x5 five five from that middle point, centered on that middle point, if we're checking for that one block. And without the clay pots, so you see it hits the clay pot here, uh, nothing would prevent it from spawning, and it's a 4 high area here even, so... That's what the clay pots are for, <laughs> basically. And they add a little bit to the looks, but... From what I can tell, we got rid of all the spawning spaces in the nether hub, which is good. It's really important because this quartz explodes very easily. And if we go over here, I, I just saw this recently, actually. <laughs> Bash put his face here. B-dubs, did you see this? <laughs> in red? Let's see if he'll come over. <laughs> so perfect. Um, but yeah, most of the these uh, side, like the ma the hub sections are done. We just have the middle to do basically. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to put these saplings in the clay pots. I don't want to do them all the same. Yep. Um, might put flowers in a few of them. They add a little bit of green to the area too, because we got the grass and stuff. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so another thing we're adding in here. Let me get, get some ice blocks. And put this stuff away. Get rid of this. Ice blocks in the lower sections. What else do I want? I want those and these. 
We'll get a few more of these slabs going. Do, 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 do. For the two lower... Oh, potion time? Potion time! And get some food in me. Man. <laughs> so for the two lower sections here, we have these... Uh, these things we're going to add in. And basically, I've made a case for the ice here. We're going to fill this up and then put half slabs over top. <laughs> PW is so curious. And this will be a nice quick way people can get across to the other side if they want. Because it's just... Oops! <laughs> Accident. <laughs> I am not a murderer. Is that how you spell murderer? Murderer. So we'll do this all along. And we'll have to put up some walls or something so gas don't shoot. A big problem with the nether hub is we got all this exposed like glowstone and quartz and stuff. Good. Uh, on the outside that we're going to have to cover up so if, if people are working on their tracks or something outside and the gas shoots we don't have to worry about uh, the gas ball hitting something on the exterior. Yeah, people will just be able to go right through if they want. Woohoo! Oop, <laughs> definitely need some better walls though. All the way through, and you're on the other side. Nice and simple. B dubs is starting the dome. Very good. Alright, we got these tunnels done. Let's check it out. Let's go for a little run. Make sure it works okay. Woohoo! <laughs> That's nice and quick. I like it. Go one more time. Yep. I'm happy with that. Uh, so what I ended up doing, I have like uh, full blocks every three blocks. And then I have upside down stairs and regular stairs at the bottom. Just to kind of make it feel a little more open as you're going through here. And they let in a little light too, which is nice. Alright, so I'm going to show you my next really big job with the nether hub here. I'm not <laughs> too excited about this one, but you know the domes uh, above each of the subsections? we got. F there's going to be four of them total. Uh, they look great from the inside. They look great on the outside. The only problem is, you hear all those gas? They're flying around everywhere, and they're going to blow them up <laughs> for sure. They're a huge target is a problem. And they got all this glowstone on, so what needs to be done unfortunately is it or at least I think it should really be done otherwise uh, this nether hub's going to turn into a never ending repair project or maintenance project but this glowstone needs to be protected from gas balls because when people are outside working on uh, their tracks and stuff or even just exploring outside doing whatever people do outside in the nether um, gas are going to be shooting and there's a very good chance random gas balls are going to hit this stuff. Um, so we should cover it up. I think only like two of them are going to be exposed. The red one is the worst. This blue one's kind of bad. I think the other two will be in nether rack though, so I might not need to cover them. But the thing is, you can't just put like glowstone or uh, stone there to protect it. Clay is is uh, safe from gas balls, by the way, so we don't have to worry about that. It's just the glowstone. But just putting that one block there won't protect it. It can still get exploded uh, through these corners, so we have to... Like, just to protect this one glowstone, we need to do this. Like, you need all of that just to make sure it won't get exploded. Um, and, like, just for this one, we need to put a 3x3 three three all around it. <laughs> so it takes a lot of blocks to protect each one because you need a 3x3x3 three by three by three all around it of blocks that won't explode to know for sure it's okay. Um, so I will be doing this for a little bit and I will see you when I start the next project. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So glad that's done. That was the most boring job I've done yet on the Nether Hub. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's just a lot of a lot of placing blocks over over the glowstone. Nothing too exciting, uh, but we got that done. Let's 
Pro actually, probably the most exciting thing I had to like. I did these corners too because we had quartz there, and like I had to get down, down this somehow. And it's not like I can fly, so uh, it's pretty dangerous. But you, basically, what you can do, if you got to send a wall. Just oh man, I almost overshot that. <laughs> Tell you what, just so I don't look like a total fool. And wreck all my good stuff. Let me get that ready. If you ever need to get down, though, in Minecraft, that's one way you can do it. Uh, I'm gonna go inside, though. And good. Yes. So all these things here, they have a half slab in. I don't know if I pointed that out before, but that's just so gas can't spawn in these uh, before people set them up. And all right. So the next thing I've been uh, working on here. This staircase used to go up to the ceiling, and that's how people were getting from the old messy hub we had up there, just the, the random junk <laughs> people were setting up. That's how they were getting to this new hub. Uh, they would come down and they'd go through the portals down here, get this to uh, spawn. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Oh, look at that. And that is why we have the double dome. Because he would have wrecked some glowstone for sure. I actually want to go up there just to get the the tier if there is one. Yes. Because these are pretty valuable. Um, so yeah, I've been ripping out the old way of getting up because we got to take out... Let's get down here. We gotta take out all this cobble here, this cobble staircase. I'm gonna rip this all out uh, down to about here because this is running right through uh, our middle of the the nether hub, and we're gonna be building here very soon because we have these uh, sections just about all done. Uh, we we got the lime one done, by the way. B Dub's finished it, and I got the quartz around and, and took out all the nether rackets. It's good, we just need to do yellow now, and I think B-Dubs is working on that at the moment, or collecting stuff for it anyway. Uh, but now, the new way people are going to go up to the ceiling if they want. Uh, I'm kind of hoping people will abandon using the ceiling for a bit. Oh, hey, B-Dubs. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> you are up in the netherrack. That happens a lot. Nether portal glitch. Uh, but what we're going to do, we're going to have... It's not going to be these double portals. When uh, we get the snapshot on the server, we're going to be able to do the, the giant custom portals. So we'll have one on each side, and it's going to be a really tall portal. And on one of the sides, we're going to make it so you can walk through the portal blocks, and, and you'll get to a ladder staircase that you can then climb up. Or go down if you want to set up paths in the f in the floor of the nether. You can do that too. Uh, the floor, like like uh, at Y zero, you know, Y zero to Y sixteen is actually better than the ceiling. I think, or I like it more because it's a lot easier to go up and explore a new area than it is to go down. Because <laughs> if you go down from the ceiling, you fall uh, in a lot of places. Uh, if you're going up, you might go up through a lava pool, but if you have a fire-resistant potion, not a problem. It's a lot easier to deal with. But this is the new, the new way people can take to go uh, between the two. But yeah, I'm hoping people get rid of their portals up here and start using the lower stuff. Uh, just to make things a little more, you know, <laughs> together and organized. I think it'll be better. Okay, a little bit of a detour here. We're going to pay the old Skelly Farm a uh, visit. And this is new, by the way. I think a video did this. It's very nice. Much better than just having a ladder down. I like it. And then, the thing we're looking for here, <laughs> I hope there's... I think they redid this all. I'm hoping they didn't throw it all away. But I need a ton of bows. Because I need... I think 44 dispensers to do the nether hub, to do the, oh, it looks like, 
Got enchanted ones. Both sides, please. No, oh, it's empty. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna need like 44 dispensers to do uh, the redstone for uh, the rail lines, and looks like, <laughs> unfortunately, there's only enough here to do maybe 10 or 20. Unless I use some of these enchanted ones, I might use the junkier ones. Uh, Cause I don't, I don't think I have any string I can use. So this was my only hope, really. Ah, it wasn't too bad actually. We got 29 dispensers out of it. We used one already. Uh, I converted all the power one bows. There was tons there uh, to just plain old bows, and we used those to make dispensers. I don't think anyone's gonna need them. Most of them were just about broken actually, and uh, there's tons of power two bows there. So I don't think anyone wants a power one bow. Uh, so that was good, and I'm going to show you the cart launching and return system here. I, I think it's actually pretty cool for how simple it is. Um, there is one or two concerns with this, though. B-dubs, you got to love him. You know, he's a good builder and everything. Uh, he worked on these entrances. Love the guy, but <laughs> he made two buttons for the launcher, which makes the redstone twice as fun. <laughs> uh, no, it's not too bad. It's just kind of... Uh, like, I gotta make 40 of these things is the thing. Well, 44, but I think some of them I'm not gonna do. Like, Doc, he doesn't need a rail system. He's right there. And I think Anders might be okay with what he did here already. So I might skip him. But, uh, even if I could get one of these done in one minute, it's still probably gonna take me an hour. Like, if I could do it in one minute, it's going to take me an hour to do them all, probably. Um, but I think it's going to take me a lot longer than one minute. <laughs> it's the problem. So, things get kind of time-consuming when you work with multiplication by 40. So, I'm a little concerned about this. But, yeah, the launching system. Let's just take a look here. Press a button. Amazing. <laughs> So, B-Dubs had the idea where a piston would come up and, and the block would come up and uh, power the power rail and the, the cart would get launched. Uh, this was my idea here though. I, I thought it would be cool to have like a dispenser going upwards for an auto uh, launching thing and also to store mine carts uh, all in one. And then we have a hopper right next to it. They had covered up pretty well by the power rail so you don't even really see it too much which is also cool and it's a launching system and a return system built all into one because if we're in the cart and we return it's not quite an auto return you have to break it but it goes right into the hopper and into the dispenser ready to go again so it's pretty cool I like it you just have to be you don't have to be that quick but you you can't just like press a button, turn around, and then look at the cart. You gotta get in the cart pretty quick, <laughs> otherwise it's gone. Um, but it's pretty easy to grab it even when it's moving. Uh, anyway, I'll show you the redstone to it. It I did the redstone in such a way that people can easily get their tunnel going through here. You'll notice I got blocks over here even. Uh, break these, and we'll take a look. So each side has this. Uh, the button is on this block, so that makes the torch go off. Wire over there makes this one switch as well, and that goes down. Um, goes to here. Another torch. And... Oh, I guess we'll break this. And finally, one more torch. It's really important the last torch here goes straight up, because it's got to power the power rails. And it has to go through the block to do that. So I can't just hook the redstone up directly to the stuff because then it wouldn't do anything to the power rails above. Uh, but yeah, we got the dispenser there. The piston is right there, so this powers both of them. And the hopper is over here. All in all, it works pretty good. I just got to build these really quick so that I can get them done in a reasonable amount of time. Um, Material-wise, it's not too bad. Not a lot of redstone. Uh, no repeaters, 
it's just four, six torches for each one. And yeah. <laughs> the thing that's really got me worried though, I'm going to run into stuff like this where it's open. And I got to seal it up then so it doesn't get blown up by gas. And also, a lot of these hubs have a lot of airspace underneath, and I don't have a floor to work with like I have over here. So this is going to be a bit annoying, I think. We'll see how it goes, though. If it gets really frustrating, I'll just leave it at what I get done, and I'll leave it up to everybody to set up their, their own individually. But I think it's good to have them all uh, follow the same thing by default so that... Uh, people know what to do when they come to them and how it works and also we made sure these entrances can handle uh, a horse going through that's really important so that people can can ride a horse through the nether hub and not worry about uh, getting stuck somewhere although generic B <laughs> I'm just gonna point this out he seems to have forgotten about horses because he's got his RV set up here and you can't get a horse through this at all, I don't think. He's just got this single wide door. It's a real pain to go in. <laughs> and then you gotta walk over here, and, and then he's got his portal down there. So, not everybody's gonna be horse, horse safe, I guess. But that's okay, I guess. Alright. Back to it. Well everyone, I am about ready to call it a night here. I I got a lot done. I wasn't able to finish them all, but uh, I ran out of pistons. <laughs> and I, I don't have iron to make more, sadly. I gotta go caving again soon. Uh, actually, I did go caving the other day, and I got like a stack of, of uh, diamonds. That's why I have tools still. Um, and from all the quartz I've been mining, I was able to enchant a ton of them too, which is awesome. But all that iron from that trip got used up pretty quick. Uh, but yeah, this this lime... No, we're in blue. Blue has all these done. I think that was the one we worked on first. No, this one was. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know, but they're all here. Except for, for Doc and for Anders that I didn't bother doing. Um, and then I started working in lime go on over. Uh, these ones are all done. I didn't do one for generic because the RV. <laughs> uh, I'm really glad he did a, a miniature up there uh, like uh, I originally planned and he did a really good job on it too. So I'm hoping that encourages more people to do them when they see that. Uh, we did this one. So I gotta go from here to there finished lime and then we got two more to do uh, if we go up here B Dubs started working on yellow and he got most of it done but he ran out of clay it's good we got the quartz around it so this this one's just about done um, yeah so we got the redstone to do then we got this middle section this room's actually a lot smaller than <laughs> one of these rooms so I think it'll go pretty quick and then we are done the nether hub which is pretty exciting. So probably next episode on Minecraft will be the finishing up one uh, of this project. Had a lot of fun doing this though, so far. Really cool, and we'll be using it for a long time, so it's a nice thing to have on the server. Uh, I do have like two or three big projects planned that I've been wanting to do. Uh, one of them, there's a good chance I'll be doing it with someone else too, which is cool. Um, but we'll get to those later. One of those big projects is the mountain base, by the way. So, oh yeah, and uh, I wanted to do a mini game, um, like a redstone project at Goodland. If if Goodland's set up, we'll have to go investigate that, see what it looks like. Um, but yeah, that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching, and w until next time. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye-bye.